Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laser Insights China. This is your host Xiaodong. Um, since last interview with Bob, uh, many of you guys have been very curious about Bob. From that last episode, it is quite easy to see that Bob is very experienced, and uh, as a Chinese professional, uh, he can speak good English, which is not something you can see easily every day. So this time. Uh, we invite Bob again to talk about his recent trip to Canada, where he worked on a retrofitting from a Trump CO2 laser to a fiber laser. So let's dive in to learn more about Bob and his trip this time. Okay, Bob, uh, can you uh, introduce yourself by studying? Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Bob from Tier Laser. Uh, we are the partners of the Skyfire for uh, retrofitting of the CO2 lasers to fiber laser. Uh, actually, this time I, I just back from the Canada. We finished a uh, Trump CO2 laser retrofitting. Uh, actually, uh, before I touched the laser technology is in uh, 2011. 2011. Yes, okay, that's yes. quite uh, early. Our, our first job is for a service for the YAG lasers. Okay. For Yag lasers, uh, we do these jobs from 2011 to 2014. Okay. So after 2014, you know, the Yag laser is already out of the market. Mm -hmm. So the fiber technology come. Mm -hmm. So we focus on the fiber laser technology. We, my, my main job is the uh, after uh, sales uh, engineer. Okay. Go to uh, overseas countries to install machines. Okay. Training customers. Okay. And also do the troubleshooting for customers. Okay. Give them the technical support. Okay. How many years have you uh, been in uh, after sales uh, engineer? Uh, about okay. uh, seven years. Wow. Seven years. Okay. That's uh, a quite solid experience accumula accumulation. Yes. 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 I, in. Actually, at that time, we we also touched the CO2 lasers, okay. but uh, not too much as the YAG laser or the fiber laser. Okay. So, uh, so many years have been, have passed, and uh, now you no longer a pure engineer guy, and uh, in fact, you start your own uh, career T-laser, right? Yeah. And, uh, with, uh, and you made a excellent business uh, serving peoples from out of the world using the strengths, engineers, technologies, and uh, your uh, English, right? Uh, how did you, dis how do you define yourself right now? Uh, this is a very good question. Actually, it's very hard to define, <laughs> um, but I still want to be an engineer, you know? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, to be myself, uh, mm -hmm. the first to define, I think I'm an engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I visit the customers, uh, my first uh, destination, or it is not to sell machines to or make a business with the customers. Mm -hmm. I always go to customer factory. Mm -hmm. and I always say his machines. Maybe mm -hmm. I say his products. Mm -hmm. I want to give him some uh, technical support mm -hmm. uh, to help a customer. Okay. So to help to help the customer to improve the efficiency of his uh, uh, jobs, mm -hmm. to save the energy cost, mm -hmm. to, to help uh, his engineer. Mm -hmm. If he has some problems, I, I can help uh, them. This will always be free. Okay. I don't charge my, my customers. Okay, so yeah. for, for providing the pre-sale. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay, that's still based on your core strength, the engineer mm. skills. Okay, that's quite brilliant, I think. Yeah, you know, okay. Actually, our first customer for retrofitting, mm -hmm. um, actually, the, it's the customer catch us. Okay. It's, it's not a way go to find a customer to advise him to uh, to make the retrofitting. Okay. Actually, this is a, a story is we, we go to visit our customer. Okay. Uh, actually, first, he want to buy a new machine for the mass. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we found he have, uh, actually, he have very, very good older scissors. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then he just asked, hey, boy, you can help me retrofitting? Okay. For this CO2 to to fiber laser, mm -hmm. I said, of course. Mm -hmm. And then the customer find us. Mm -hmm. uh, so he said, Bob, can you help me? Okay. <laughs> so actually, so this is a very good chance mm -hmm. uh, making me in this area. Mm -hmm. So I found this will be a good market uh, okay. uh, for the laser technologies. So okay. this is why we start uh, this business. Okay, and actually we have a customer. We have a customer to to make his own machine get a new life. 
Okay, okay, I understand. Thank you for your sharing. And uh, let's talk about this trip to Canada. Um, it's a long way, right? How many flights? How many hour flights? Oh, so it is. Uh, uh, I fly eighteen hours. Okay. This is not including my waiting time in the airport. Okay. Yeah, I'm not very lucky. When I was uh, uh-huh. flying to uh, Peking to Vancouver, you Vancouver. know, I have to actually. I have. To, I just need to stay around two hours in Vancouver, but hmm. I'm not lucky. The uh, metro, you know, have a big snow. Okay. So okay. I have to wait five hours. Oh my god! So when I arrive in the uh, metro, is uh, metro. around uh, mm-hmm. one a.m. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's a big snow. Okay. Very big snow. Okay. It was. Yeah. It was not lucky. <laughs> okay. Um. Before departure to Canada, uh, what's your biggest uh, worries and uh, to, how I mean, to I, forecast I, forecast this uh, ritual in? Uh, what is going to be? Uh. Actually, when I start to fly to Canada to make this uh, travel days, uh, mm-hmm. my bigger concern is about, uh, you know, every travel machine is different. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- uh, this machine, actually, the model is uh, mm-hmm. almost the same as the last one we did in Poland. Okay. Uh, but I, actually, it is uh, ha- still have some points is different. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we, mm-hmm. we, we have our old controllers. We... we Give some programs in mm-hmm. our own PLC. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if some mm, places is different, mm-hmm. only small point, mm-hmm. actually you, you will affect our controllers. Okay. Maybe they didn't work very well. Mm-hmm. So we have to adjustment uh, in the customer side. Mm-hmm. So my biggest concern is about uh, every Trump, they have different points. Okay, so when you arrived there and saw that machine yeah. and when you work, worked on it, uh, was there anything happened that really troubles you? Yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, my concern is correct. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know. When we actually we just uh, used two days. Okay. To finish all the mechanical parts. Okay. You know, we we cut the machines. Uh, you know, some frame. Okay. We get the space to install the fabulous hands, and yes. we connect the laser source everything, mm-hmm. and we put our controller. Mm-hmm. This is very smoothly works. Mm-hmm. But when we get we turn on the machine, we get electricity. Okay. We, we go to test. Oh, I found uh, some, 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 some point is totally different. Mm-hmm. So in, in, important actually, the Trump, the model is traumatic. Traumatic. Three zero. Okay. But uh, in, uh, in, in Canada, mm-hmm. I find that the real model is traumatic mm-hmm. L, three zero, three zero S. Okay. So, so actually, what was the difference? Okay. Three zero, three zero S is more, more older. Okay, it's more even older. older. Uh-huh. Yeah, even older. Uh-huh. So then I found the first point is they don't have the frequency. Okay. You know, uh-huh. in Poland, we have the frequency analog. Uh-huh. And uh, in this machine, it's very strange. Okay. <laughs> he has the uh, analog module inside. Okay. Found. Okay. So this is why we in China, we think mm-hmm. this one should 100% have the frequency. Uh-huh. Uh, how do you say? Frequency analog. Uh-huh. But when I was in customer site, uh-huh. I didn't find. Okay. I only find the parts. Okay. But they didn't the, give the analog of the frequency come out. Okay. How did you overcome it? Uh, so we, we our solution is we created. Okay. So we we upgrade the uh, uh, we upgraded the program in mm-hmm. our PLC, mm-hmm. and we created it. Okay. By the PLC. Okay. Before we no need to create it. Okay. We can use the Trump mm-hmm. original. Mm-hmm. But if we get these problems, we have to change our PLC program. Mm. Yeah. Okay. When you uh, were working on this, some very difficult thing on site, what was the uh, reaction from the customers? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I want to say the you, you, <laughs> Canada customer is very, it's very, very good customers. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, you know. I go Canada as an engineer, mm-hmm. so when I meet the problems, I will very be honest to tell my customer okay. what I meet, and the customer, mm-hmm. they are really good customer. They mm-hmm. they always want to help me, mm-hmm. so I will. So we will talk, mm-hmm. and we will find the solution. Mm-hmm. So for only actually, we find the solution, and the customer is happy. Okay. <laughs> so uh, so what was the point that you can say, okay, this machine uh, can be live again? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, when you know, after we uh, 
upgrade the PLC program. Actually, we didn't upgrade once. I think okay. we upgraded four or five times. Okay. <laughs> you know, you know, just uh, for example, the frequency analog is just one point. Actually, okay. we have all two or three or five points. Okay. We, we do one by one, but the customer is really, really happy. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, so finally, we, when we finish the first cut, mm -hmm. I showed the videos to the boss of the factory, okay. Tolly. Tolly. So Tolly oh. said, okay, he's so excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Finally, you you guys fixed it. Yes. 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 We spent okay. around seven days. Oh, seven, seven days. Seven days. Just the focusing on other uh, uh, technical issues. Uh, we for adjustment and uh, mm -hmm. we upgraded the PLC program. We test the cutting. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in addition to the working aspect, uh, have you experienced some cultural difference? I mean, uh, what's the your experience with the people locally, Tony, the boss, and uh, the uh, local engineers? Um, actually, I, I think the Canada engineer and the bosses, they are first, they are very kind of people, mm -hmm. and uh, they do everything very strictly, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Uh, very, very, very professional. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, his engineer, his name is uh, Max. Max. He, okay. he helped me a lot of. Okay. Uh, for example, if we meet uh, uh, some problems, mm -hmm. so he can first uh, help me to find the, the uh, diagram. Okay. So I'll with two guys. We can we can figure so, out yes. Uh, which part we can find out the diagram. Mm -hmm. So he can help me to find the part and mm -hmm. we measure. Mm -hmm. And we confirm everything. Yes. So, so you guys uh, facilitate this uh, process. So increase, yeah. uh, accelerate this process, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. They they give us a lot of help about uh, like the sometimes troubleshooting. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes the troubleshooting like uh, mm -hmm. you must running running the uh, mm -hmm. the machine must be cutting mm -hmm. running, and then one people should be measure the voltage, so measure mm -hmm. some signals. Mm -hmm. So you must be two guys. Mm -hmm. So you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, before we 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 want to go to Andy Franco, we go. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, Franco was rejected by by the Canvasers. Yes. So 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 I I just go alone. So I okay. actually I need I need a partner. Okay. So, oh, uh, yes, you're right. So this is you are forced to go there independently. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. As planned, uh, you and Frank should be go together there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Hmm. So uh, when we travel to a foreign country, uh, the food is a topic that may, must be talked. So what about the food? How, how did Tony treat you? <laughs> ah, it is fantastic. Okay. It's fantastic. You know, uh, I, I live in Tony's house. His mm -hmm. house is a, it's a big house. Okay. And you know, a big boss, big house. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's near a river. Okay. Uh, river view. It's very, very nice. And uh, his wife is a, a good cook. Okay. Very good cook. So every... Every evening, so we can have different kinds of food. Wow! I remember the first uh, dinner is the Philippine food. This okay. is Asian food. Okay, Asian food. And so the second day is Italian. Okay. The pasta. Okay. Uh, also, the third day I think we eat the beef steak. Mm -hmm. So every day we can eat different food and uh, very good wine. Wow! Wow! And also, after we have a very good dessert. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so this is very good. Okay. Thank, <laughs> thanks, Tony, to treat Bob so well. <laughs> yes. My next question is that uh, uh, how do you think of the uh, Canada market? Uh, I mean, uh, are there still many people uh, continue using the old uh, CO2 laser machine? Uh, yes. Canada actually is a very good market uh, for the rare fading. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, you know, this CO2 laser machines like uh, Trump, Amada, Petrolic, Mitsubishi, they are very mm -hmm. big brands. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, if a company want to buy mm -hmm. this kind of CO2 lasers, uh, the cost is really high. Mm -hmm. So so normally, you say, normally customers in like uh, the, our Asian countries, mm -hmm. you know, they cannot buy this kind of uh, very high cost machines. Mm -hmm. But Canada he is a, a traditional development country, you know. Mm -hmm. So actually, his industry mm -hmm. uh, is very high level. Mm -hmm. you know, the aircraft company, bomb, mm -hmm. bomb, and this is also from Canada. Mm -hmm. So actually, they have a lot, a lot of factories. Mm -hmm. They have this kind of two lasers. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, the CO2 laser already, the technology is, is almost finished. 
Okay. So the next technology come, and then this kind of customer, they still have very high requirement about machines like the safety. Yes. Like safety requirements. Yes. You know, actually, we we are Chinese people. We know China machines very well. Mm-hmm. Actually, basically speaking, a lot of uh, China machines mm-hmm. they can export to Canada. But actually, I, the customer think mm-hmm. uh, the safety like uh, requirements cannot uh, meet their requirements. Okay. Also, you know, also some the accurate. Accuracy, mm-hmm. Accuracy of the of the of the machines cannot meet their requirements. Okay. So you know the Trump you know, Tony machine, mm-hmm. the uh, the next Siemens. Okay. The Siemens from Germany is very stable. Mm-hmm. And it's very very high accuracy. Mm-hmm. So a lot of customers they still want to keep this very big brand CO two lasers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. you know, uh, just like Tony said, I have Trump. Mm-hmm. Trump is Trump. Mm-hmm. So if the customer find a oh, totally head job mm-hmm. so i can get a very good name yes. yeah yeah so yes. this is why a lot of Canada customers like the europe customers they still want to keep the old co2 lasers okay yeah. okay thank you very much for sharing i think uh this episode uh gives very interesting stories behind this rich and one last uh, uh question is that um what will you give to the young engineers uh, on how to get where you are now because you from my view you had a very uh, successful career from a young engineer to a uh, to a business owner and now you can do serve the people mm. all over the world yes uh, for an engineer i think if you like your jobs so first you must uh, keep moving mm-hmm. so you know, never give up so you have to learn, you have to keep it go on. Mm-hmm. So you know, for the tech, technical jobs, mm-hmm. so one year, two years, mm-hmm. when you're working for ten years, you will be successful. Successful. Yeah. Okay. So I, I actually when I was uh, start working, mm-hmm. I, I like uh, words from you know Stephen Jobs. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you should uh, uh, keep hungry, mm-hmm. stay hungry, stay, hungry. stay foolish, stay foolish. So yes. you always keep moving, keep studying. Mm-hmm. Um, I think after 10 years, every people can be successful. Yes. So, <laughs> yes, engineers can be very professional on engineers, but uh, engineers are good at English is a trouble <laughs> for most of engineers. How, how do you study your English? Uh, actually, I have... Uh, uh, my, my, my mom is an English teacher. Yeah. Wow. Hey, that's, the English teacher. that's the reason. <laughs> no, no, this is... Uh, this is not the reason. When I was, uh, uh, when I was, my, you know, when I was graduated from my university, mm-hmm. uh, my first uh, jobs and my second jobs is I worked for a, a, a Taiwan company. Okay. And I also worked for a Hong Kong company. Mm-hmm. And this our company language is English. I have okay. to write mail by English. Okay. okay. And we have some meetings. Okay. We have some meetings also. Also, we have to use English. Because we 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 make the products is for uh, United States customers for for the mm. uh, uh, I I I make the the phones for Cisco actually. Okay, this is my 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 first, first job. First job. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So so this has helped me a, a lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, that's for today's episode. And uh, if you have more questions about Bob about mm. the uh, laser machine retrofitting, please leave comments below. And uh, yeah, we are always here. Goodbye. Bye.